Miss Tracy here from the Myrtle Beach Art Museum. Welcome to another episode of our virtual early art education program. Today is the first day of April. All month we will be learning about insects. And we will talk about what they look like, what they sound like, where they live, and more. Also, in every episode this month, we'll do an art project inspired by insects. So let's get ready. Sit crisscross applesauce, turn those listening ears on. And now for today's question. Did you see an insect today? Let's ask ourselves, what is an insect? An insect is an animal that has a hard covering on its body that protects it. Some insects, not all, have wings and can fly. All insects have antenna on their heads. And all insects have three pairs of legs. That's six legs all together. Look at these insects. A ladybug, a grasshopper, a butterfly, a wasp, a bee, a housefly, a dragonfly, and an ant. Notice the ant is the only one of these insects without wings. Is a cat an insect? Is a chicken an insect? <laughs> Is a lobster an insect? Count its legs. Did Miss Tracy see an insect today? So, did you see an insect today? Kiss your brain, friends, for answering today's question. Now we're going to do an art project. We're going to make bug squish art. Yay! These are the materials you will need. A piece of thick paper, liquid paint or food coloring, and a marker or pen. First, you fold your paper in half. Then you open it up and smooth it out. And you can add paint to your paper. I usually work on one half of the paper. And first I'll add little drops of paint kind of close to the seam of where you folded your paper. But a little bit of paint goes a long way in this project. Then I'll add a little bit more kind of closer to the outside of the paper. Just like that. So then I fold my paper. I very gently smooth out that paint. What we're hoping is that when we open it, our image will resemble an insect. So you can see it's created a symmetrical image, which means that this side is a mirror reflection of this side. So for the next step, we'll have to let this dry. 
Okay, now my painting has dried. So now what you can do is try to turn this into an insect. you had fun today, next week we'll learn about the different noises insects make. Bye friends!